Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is Evil Bank Manager. Indeed, let's get back to managing an evil bank. Um, we left the last episode in quite a strong position, actually. Um, we don't really want to buy this logger's hut. I'm not super, um, not super, super interested in getting more wood. Uh, you know, the, the wood that we do have is, is nice. We turn it into, into bows, and we turn the iron that we have into swords, and that's pretty much it, really. Um, that, that's how we operate. Um, in terms of selling off our resources and making sure that we are continuing to sell them off at the best prices, I think we probably want to, uh, yep, continue to hold on to furs, continue to stockpile furs. No real need to, to get, uh, to, to get rid of them quite yet. I am, however, going to sell... No, I'll sell bows. That'll net us a little bit of cash, and then I'll sell some more swords next turn. And uh, yeah, that should that should keep us that should keep us going. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, everything is going pretty remarkably well. We've got a good amount of ownership. We've got a good amount of um, resources that we are going to um, to sell off. I don't want to invest in property. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't think I can improve any relations at the moment because I do get notified as soon as I as soon as I should know. But yeah, no big deal. It's all good. Okay. Any, any property that we want to invest in. A house. I really don't rate houses, honestly. Um, I don't really rate them very much at all. Um, so, no, is the answer to that. There is no houses that we're really interested in. However, I do believe we do still have one borrower. And I think that we reclaimed about 200, 290 90 bucks worth of debt. Not entirely sure about that. Uh, we can also send out a... A little bit more money. We're going to do that. 5.3 profit per move. That's not too bad. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good, pretty darn good deal. It's not for very much money, but it's not too bad. Anyway, swords, bows, boom. Let's get that ordered. Let's go to the exchange and it is time to sell off swords. Indeed it is. Man, would you look at the furs just keep on going through the roof? They really do. Furs are just going crazy. Uh, gonna sell off bows and gonna sell off all of my swords. Um, yep, it's pretty much the best price that we're gonna get. I mean, we could get 7.9 for our bows. Uh, maybe we hold on to our bows then. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're getting, you know, the vast majority of our money from um, from swords anyway. So let's let's sell off swords. Fine, good. Let's sell off swords. That nets us a good chunk of change right there. Uh, and of course, we've still got we've still got a bunch of fur. There's no reason not to buy this house, right? Man, when this music just speeds up, it just makes me makes me speed up, you know. Um, can I not buy it? I don't have the money. What am I doing? Um, is there something that we can sell off, perhaps? We can sell off this house. Yeah, let's sell off this house. Annual production. Yeah, let's sell off that. Sure. And then let's go and pick up a house over here. There we go. So how much does that actually... How much does that actually net us? Hold on a minute. We just bought this thing for 5,900. If we were to sell this, we would just straight up make a 1,000 profit. Let me see next turn. If that's the case. Real estate. Yeah, so we could straight up legit make a bunch of turn a, a bunch of turn a bunch of a bunch of change now does this actually generate 373 per turn i'm really not certain that that ac that it actually does i wish there was an income right like a like an income screen open a new country pretty sure i cannot open a new country with just the pitiful amount of money that i currently have uh, what i can do however with whatever amount of money I have, is uh, turn my resources into into actual weapons. 8.1. We're going to hit 8.1 on the bows. Swords are good in 1, 2, 3 turns. Still accelerating. 11.3 on the furs. That is pretty insane, actually. In fact, that's really insane. Um, grain... Um, it's the summer months, so I'm not su 
per convince that I want to hold on to um, another farm. Uh, so we're, we're not going to do that, and we're probably actually just going to head straight into the next turn. Um, we can improve our relationship with Ireland. We're going to do that first and foremost. Yep, they do like us. They're not super... They don't like us a super lot. I don't, it's really difficult to try and get a country to, to like you. Uh, oh, yes, please. Yes, please. By the way, it looks like our house is indeed profitable. At least profitable enough that we can... Um, we can not lose any money per turn. In fact, we pretty much should, by this calculation, if houses, if, if homes and houses and real estate just produces money, um, that means that we should pretty much stay even because it pretty much cancels out our expenditure. It's perfect, actually. Uh, let's go into the armory. Let's actually do what we need to do. Standard stuff. Uh, I would like to, to buy... Whatever they've got over there. 8.1 over here. How much do I really care about? How much do I really care about this? I care about this quite a lot. I'm going to need to sell off all of my swords for it, though. 11.3. That is the pinnacle of furs. It's the highest price that we can really get. Um. Okay. Great. Let's go for that. Let's also sell off iron and uh, and some wood, just for good measure. Yep, yeah, cool. All right, grand. That's that's really really good for us. I just cannot wait until we um, until we sell these furs. Yep, yeah, let's get that. So that's pretty darn good. Um, opening a new country. I do actually want to open a new country. Uh, the problem is is that it's really difficult to know which country you can actually open. Um, we talked a little bit about getting Valachia. Valachia? Valachia? Yeah, we talked a little bit about opening opening that up. It tends to be that smaller countries cost less, but look at this. Hungary. Hungary costs a lot of money. Austria costs a lot of money. 210,000. France costs 180,000. Savoy costs 112,000. What about Tuscany? 21,000. I mean, we're already technically in Brittany. So I don't understand how that works. South Wallonia country of Nevers. Interesting. That cost us 43,000. Nice. Um, England costs us um, 149,000. Scotland, of course, doesn't exist anymore. So that's certainly a no-no. A no-no no to, um, to ever investing in Scotland. It would, it would be, oh my goodness, I can't even see. It would be kind of nice if, um, if when a country, you know, when a country like France took over or takes over somewhere like Brittany, um, it would be nice if you got access to the French market. That would be really nice. But unfortunately, that's not the way that it works. So we're basically just looking for single state countries. Um, pretty much just single state countries to expand to. Uh, the Papal States... Maybe the, the Italian states, that might be, that might be kind of nice. Parma, yeah, that might be kind of nice. Venice, oh no, Venice is a multiple, a multiple state state. Uh, yeah, so we pretty much just got Valachia or, or Naxos. Yeah, or Dul, Dulcar, whatever that means, whatever that says. Oh, what is this? South Shriven. Yeah, anyway, that, that costs... Each of these cost about 20,000. Um, which is sort of a little bit of a no-no. How much does it cost to get into Ming? Yeah, big money. Big money to get into Ming. It's interesting, the price. I mean, none of them seem to be less than 20,000. 20,000 is pretty much the limit. It's the sort of lo the lower limit, I guess. So pretty soon, we're going to have to decide... Uh, how much we want to get access to a new country. I mean, it would be a good thing to do. It would be a good thing to do because currently in Ireland, we've got... Uh, yeah, we've pretty much maxed out our investments. Um, in fact, technically we've gone past our max investments. Upgrade. Pretty, yeah, we've already gone past our... Um, 
past our max investments. I don't understand how this country works. I, I don't understand how this system works. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's just like the, the fact that you don't have an income screen. It just doesn't make sense. It just does not make sense. Uh, send the guards to collect the debts. Of course I'm going to do that. I, I love debts. Uh, 1,905.6 profit per turn. Yes, please. I'm going to sign me up to that one. That's a really good deal. I should probably have checked what... Uh, I probably should have checked what... What is this? Requires fear. Sure, I'll take that. Should have probably checked if there's anything good for us to buy. I don't actually think that there will be. Yeah, we need to open up new countries. We've pretty much maxed out of our... Um, our ownership but it's okay never fear next turn we are going to be oh no 11.5 look at that i think we need to just i think we just need to sell honestly i think we really just need to sell we're we're holding off however the good thing about holding off is that it means that when we do actually um uh, we can hold off for one one more turn for one more turn for bows, uh, two more turns for swords. Yeah, fine. Create a new batch of weapons, yeah, fine. Great, it, it basically means that when if we, or when and if we hold off, right, which is what we're currently doing, which is the play that we're currently making, um, basically means that when we do go into a new country, we can really hit the ground running. Okay, 11.5 seems to be the pinnacle. That's gonna be reached in two turns. Next turn, we're going to sell off a bunch of swords. We're going to do that right now. Send guards to collect the debts. I am absolutely going to do that. Uh, take you. You're doing that. Can we give someone a loan? Sure. It's not very much, but it is what it is. We'll give out that loan. Fine. Uh, yep. Good armory. Yes, please. I believe it is now time for us to sell off some swords. So we're going to do just that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Swords. Indeed it is. 7.9. It ain't going to get any better than this. Uh, it is going to get slightly better for bows. Don't really care. I'm going to sell it off anyway. 9,600 that, um, that we've got. That is very, very impressive. I'm pretty happy with that. And next turn. Next turn we are going to see 2,600. 2,600 bits of fur being sent off. I mean, obviously not individual bits of fur, but just to the value of 2,700. Um, yeah, it literally, it cannot really get better than this. This is pretty much as good as it gets. Uh, we'll hold on to, we'll hold on to swords and also to bows for now. Uh, but we're going to be selling off 24,000 bucks of furs. Let's do it. There we go. Easy as that, eh? Easy as that. I don't really understand the whole point of, uh, buying resources. Furs, how much are furs selling for on the market? 22.9. So there's literally no incentive for us to buy these weapons. Or weapons or furs or literally anything, actually. Um, but that is what it is. How do I fare on the list of banks? I'm 13th in the world. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. I've got over 100 grand worth of, um, worth of value. That's quite nice, actually. Um... Cool. All right. Well, let's let's go and give this a crack. Let's see. Let's see what country we want to buy into. I would say that I want to buy into some, you know, a country that's kind of a little bit interesting. So maybe for that reason, we'll um, we'll invest in the Papal States. Still don't understand this screen in the slightest. Not a clue. Let's do it. Let's buy in. Happy days. We are now in the Papal States. How exciting is that? Uh, we still got a bunch in resources. We cannot do anything this turn because, of course, we're still waiting to... Um, we're waiting to hear back from our good chaps that work in the property department. Um, we can actually hire a second person to work in property. Do we want to do that? Sure. Find an expert. Find me an expert find someone that's really good. There we go. You're really good. Welcome to the team, buddy. Alexander Ferguson. And let's head on over to the next turn. Beautiful. All right. It's time to collect some debts, which is probably one of my favorite things to do. 
I do love collecting debts. Uh, I'm not going to do this quite yet, although I am tempted. Very, very tempted indeed to do both of these things. Not super profitable um, for the Papal States, but it is what it is. It's only one turn, so that's kind of nice. Freeze up our cash quicker. Uh, yeah, okay, so... A house. A house for sale for 6,000 bucks. I'll take that. That's pretty nice. Uh, if we go and have a little look at our real estate portfolio, turns out that our profit per turn is way in excess of our expenses, and therefore we can actually be kind of happy with that. In fact, we can be really, really happy with that. Yeah, that's really good, in fact. Uh, yeah, we do need to constantly be, be creating weapons. Hashtag always be making weapons. Uh, 7.8, you're going to reach 8. Uh, we pretty much maxed out on the bows, so let's sell off the bows. Swords, we're still going to, you know, see a little bit of a... A little bit of a little bit of an increase on the swords, so we'll hold off on that for a couple of turns. Um, but in the meantime, there's nothing else really to do other than go to the next turn. Uh, we can improve our relationship. I presume that we can improve our relationship with either Ireland and or the Papal States. Ireland just really is not... just doesn't... For some reason, it just doesn't work. And then let's... More with Ireland. I just don't understand how we're so unpopular. I also don't understand what all of these modifiers are. It just doesn't make sense to me. There's so many things in this in this game which I just I have no idea. I just have absolutely no idea. Um, did I give out those loans by the way? I can't remember if I did. Um, wowzers. Okay, this is a this is a bunch of loans that we can really give out. Okay. Um, well, first of all. Profit per move. Give out that loan, that's for sure. I do believe we can only give out one since it's for the total value of uh, of our money. A little bit disappointing, but that's fine. Um, and then we're going to come over here and once again, we're going to just, you know, go through the regular the regular motions of making, making our weapons. Um, this is the best that we're going to get for furs in a while, so we're going to take this opportunity to sell off some furs. Uh, we'll also sell off some bows net us a little bit of cash. Uh, there's nothing really that we can improve at the moment. Where are we on the list? We're down to 14th. Well, that's because we just sunk 20,000 bucks into getting nothing in particular. A little bit annoying, but alas, we will survive. Okay, a fur farm. Fur-bearing animal farm. Not entirely sure if that's the best way to put it, but there we go. Um, sure, I will buy that because furs are furs are great. I really, I mean, they're obviously not great in the real world. They're horrific in a video game. I feel okay with um, with getting them. Uh, we should technically be making money every turn from our uh, from our um, from our houses. However, it's not quite as simple as that because uh, we've got to factor in debts and the fact that. We occasionally get money uh, repaid from uh, loans that we gave out, so it kind of fluctuates from turn to turn based on how much money we actually have coming in on any one given turn. Does that make sense? I think it does. Okay, uh, three turns for swords, fine. Furs are going back up to 11.5 quite soon, so we can hold off until then. Beautiful. We're just basically going to try and... Uh, ooh, wow, that's an expensive... That is a very, very expensive fur manufacturing works. I'm going to try and buy that, actually. I know that the price of furs are going to increase substantially um, over the next couple of turns. So this is absolutely in our interest to do. Wowzers, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of money. Let's do that. Perfect. And yeah, surely we're back up to third place. That's exactly right. Um, okay, great. Let's buy it. That is a that is a good deal for us, actually. That is a really good deal because we know the value of, um, of furs is going to increase. I believe that that brings us up to three, yeah, three properties in the fur portfolio currently. So that's not too bad. 
resource price to 11.5. So is is the is that as high as the resource price can go? I guess it must be, right? I guess it must be. Hmm, interesting. Either way, I think that we're probably almost capped out in terms of the amount of the amount of investment that we can have in the papal state. Sure, I'll have a little meeting with them. Um, yeah, I still don't understand this this maths here. It doesn't make sense. It really just doesn't make sense. Like, my investments are already more than the max investment. Does it perhaps add max investment with available investment? And then that is the true maximum number of investment? Max investment, available investment, your investment, taxes, competitors' investments. It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. It's really difficult. It's really difficult to understand. If anyone has any idea um, what what I should do, please let me know. Um, also, I do want to I do want to sort of get a little bit more invested in um, in war, but I don't understand I don't understand how to do that. Fez versus Northern Portugal. Invest? 4,100? Maybe like... 3,500. Yeah, something like that. Uh, okay. Wait, so did they give me something? What? So I invested a whole bunch of money. And they will give me like land allotments. This is so peculiar. Okay, I mean our expenses are quite high. I just want to make sure that we absolutely have enough to cover to cover that shortfall. Yeah, gonna sell off, gonna sell off some furs. I know it's not super profitable, but I just want to make absolutely certain that there is no way that I can uh, that I can lose money. Yeah, so look, it shows that I'm actually invested in this country now. Still don't understand this at all. Like it makes literally no sense. Have they finished the war? Wait a minute. So can I just go to like like this war, for example? Click on this. Like, join... I'll just, you know, I'll just join the side that allows me to invest the most. I'll invest... Invest a thousand. And I get a stone camp. Now, does that count towards my, like... Does that count towards my actual property? Like, do I get to keep it? Uh, I'll take that. Can't give out any loans at the moment. No, I can't really do much at the moment because I haven't made any swords and I haven't sold off those swords. Uh, we don't have any wood production area now. Interesting. Um, what happened to our wood production area? What on earth is this? Why is this house disabled? That doesn't mean anything. What does this mean? What on earth is going on? Is this something to do with, like, war? This doesn't make sense. Can I sell a bunch of weapons? Price of 9.3? Sure. I'll sell you a bunch of weapons. I still really do not understand this at all. Okay, maybe if we go to the next turn, it'll make more sense. No, there's still a bunch of stuff that is disabled. I don't think this is a seasonal thing. Is it because perhaps, like, Ireland has got really annoyed at me? No. We're fine. Is it something to do with war? Is Ireland perhaps at war? Ah, okay. So Ireland is at war... 
and I should see if I can invest in perhaps Ireland. I can't sell them anything, unfortunately. I can invest. Only a little bit, though, because I've already maxed out my contributions to this country. Oh, great. I get an, an Ebonist workshop. Pretty sure that doesn't make any sense, but hey-ho. I also don't know how wars are decided here. Literally not got the foggiest idea. Supposedly war is all about money. I mean, I gather that that is the case. However, um, just like, what, what on earth? What on earth? Can I, s I can't sell them anything. I can't invest any more. Unless, presumably, I was able to sell something off. Maybe I can sell them weapons. I'll sell Ireland weapons. How about that? Here we go. Sell. Weapons. Sell. Great. So I'm making money from... From the war with Ireland. Or from the... Sorry, from the war with England. I wish I could find out how this war was decided. I wish I could, like, try and, like, rally some troops or, like invest somehow like do do more than i currently am doing because currently not much i can really do wow would you look at that i got a house that is literally worth nothing is that a is that a perhaps an exploitable bug um no i don't think it counts unfortunately that's very disappointing. That's very disappointing. Uh, so all of this stuff is currently disabled until, presumably, I get out of this war. Well, that is a big bummer, actually. That is a really, really big bummer. Um, because I suspect that the war might go on for a wee bit. No real idea, though. No real idea who's going to win, truthfully. War reveals the darkest side, and this is why all the property of the captured region will be plundered and lose half of its base value. Um. Okay. I don't really want to be involved in Ireland if that is the case. I feel that that's probably something that should be more transparent. Okay, as it turns out, you cannot sell anything off as it goes. Now, if its base value halves, does that change the amount it produces per turn? And does that change the amount that you buy for it? Just because the base value has changed doesn't necessarily mean that the sale price will change. I don't really know. I don't really know, truthfully. I don't really know. Anyway, ladies and gents, on that note, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Owen Potato. This has been Evil Bank Manager, and I'll see you next time. Bye.